Hello and welcome on board. My name is Jerry Gilpin with Denison Yachting. Today we are on Tory Secret. It's my newest listing, a 2004 61 Viking convertible, three stateroom layout, located here in Palm City, Florida. And today I'm excited to show you through it. The Viking 61 is the most popular Viking to date. Over 150 hulls were produced and built and they varied in configuration. This 61, Tory Secret, is an open bridge model. She features three luxurious staterooms, each with an ensuite. One key feature about Tory Secret is she's powered by the preferred upgraded MTU 1500 horsepower M91 engines. She is also complemented with twin 21KW Onan generators. Her main engines were overhauled in 2010 and currently have just 2300 hours since major overhaul. All of her services are currently up to date. Another highlight included with Tory Secret, in addition to her upgraded power package, is the addition of a davit and a dinghy also included with the sale. The 61 Viking brings the most remote locations within reach, thanks to her extended 521 mile range with her upgraded MTU power package and extra fuel capacity. And the dinghy brings those locations up close and personal. Once you reach your final destination, the Viking 61 is well equipped to make the most of your time. One such feature is the cockpit, which is where we're going to start today's walkthrough. Located in the aft section of the cockpit is the yacht's transom door. It has a lift gate, which is molded in teak, which also match the covering boards. The teak continues underfoot, which leads us to our centerline blue water dinette table with seating for up to four guests. I do want to point out that this blue water table can be removed and also replaced with a fighting chair, which is also included with the sale. With the fighting chair in place, you have easy access to your fish boxes. Complementing the blue water dinette table, moving forward you will find an electric grill, which is right next to a cockpit freezer. Additional tackle storage can be found starboard, as well as a refrigerated drink box under the salon door. Next to that, we have our entrance to the engine room. As noted before, Tory Secret is outfitted with the upgraded M91 power package. These engines produce a top speed of 37 knots and a cruise speed of around 30 knots with over a 500 mile range. With over 3,000 horsepower combined, performance is never an issue thanks to her sleek hull design and upgraded power package. Tory Secret's blue hull color really makes her stand out from the crowd. In addition to that, her top side exterior areas were also painted in 2018 with a white all grip. To either side of the superstructure, there are walk-around decks with handrails that lead up to the foredeck. Breaking down the foredeck starting aft, you will notice a black painted mask on the brow. Just forward of that is the ship's onboard dinghy and davit, and all the way forward is the pulpit, the windlass, and the bow rail. Her bow rail continues all the way forward and is a great safety feature when raising or lowering the ship's anchor. Leaving the foredeck, let's make our way up to the flybridge. Upon entering the flybridge, you will first notice a three-sided, easy to see why enclosure, which helps block wind and also rain. Located center line and to the port side are two blue water helm chairs that face the ship's command center. Also, you will notice a Palm Beach style helm pod with integrated bow thruster controls. Her electronics are kept dry and safe in the factory molded electronics box. A few of the upgraded electronics you will find are two KEP monitors, Furuno and Garmin GPS, Garmin Chirp Transducer, and a KVH HD7 satellite. Just forward of this, spanning the width of the helm area, is a large additional deep freezer and refrigerated drink box. Rounding out the area is seating for your guest, with a bench seat to the starboard side and L-shaped seating to the port. I would now like to take you inside the salon to break down the interior. The salon of the Viking 61 is spacious and elegantly arranged. To the port side is a U-shaped sofa with storage below and an adjustable blue water high-low teak table with foldable leaves. High-end decorative fabrics and trim sole accent the area. 
To the starboard side as you enter the salon is where you will find the ship's AC-DC ship's distribution panel, followed by an arrangement of teak joinery, which also house the entertainment systems, additional storage, and an ice maker. Just forward of the joinery is the dinette area, with seating for up to four guests. Just forward to the port side is the yacht's galley area. Highlights of the galley area include the upgraded granite countertops and recently revarnished teak cabinet faces. In terms of appliances in this area, we will start with a Kenyan four burner cooktop, a sharp carousel microwave convection oven, a Kenmore trash compactor, four Sub-Zero refrigerated drawers, and two Sub-Zero freezer drawers. Wrapping up the living area, we will now step down into the companion way to look at the guest quarters, starting with the starboard guest stateroom. The stateroom is arranged with an upper and lower berth in an L configuration. A hanging closet and plenty of storage can also be found. In addition to this is the ensuite head and shower. This also doubles as the yacht stay head. Moving across the companion way into the port side, you will find the owner suite. This stateroom is well arranged with a full queen size walk around berth. The berth is situated a ship, and mirrored cedar lined hanging closets are found along the aft bulkhead. An ensuite head and shower is located on the forward side of the stateroom, as well as teak joinery credenza and additional hanging locker. Looking across the companionway from the master stateroom, you will notice the yacht's laundry center. All the way at the bow is where you will find the guest VIP stateroom. She has the preferred crossover V berth with a single berth on the starboard side and a double berth on the port side. Below the single berth, you will find plenty of storage for guest accommodations as well as a cedar line hanging closet. An ensuite head and shower is also located just off to the starboard side. On behalf of Denison Yachting and myself, Jerry Gilpin, I would like to thank you for joining me today on Tori's Secret. If you have any further questions or would like to schedule a showing, please feel free to reach out to me anytime.